We're back. WWE 2K24. <laughs> I was going to get that wrong. Anyway, we're back with some pack day. It's pack day, so we're going to look at the packs. You know, do our review. Uh, icon iconic moments. So, let's uh, let's take a look at it. Um, I did kind of glance at the pack a little bit. A little bit. Didn't go too deep into it. One thing you'll notice first is that it's a little bit more. It's worth. A, it's a little bit more pricey, you know. Two thousand on the deluxe MFP, and what, fourteen hundred on the basic. So, um, first thing we'll do is look at the odds. The odds, you know, you got to your gold, emerald, and sapphire. So you're looking at what a seven. Those are going to be. It's going to be your superstar series twos, the the lower level ones. So if you look at the basic, you have is that 760, 88% chance of it being a Superstar Series 2 lower level, and then you have a 12% chance of a, well it can still be a Superstar Series 2, because the Amethyst and Ruby are Superstar Series 2 you're in there too, so you're, you're probably going to get a Superstar Series 2 out of this pack. Just, 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 just be honest, you're probably going to get that. So, um, let's look at the, I, I want to skip, let's look at this one first, look at after this one. So this is the 10 pack basic, um, you're looking at 60, 88 still, and 3, 4, 5, was that what this one was, 3, 4, 5? Yeah, so they have the same odds. So again, I mean, at least on the cards that matter, I, you know, it's still 60, it's still 88% and 12, but at least the, the diamond, the diamond amethyst and ruby are all the same. That's the important thing. I mean, I don't care about the gold and silver and whatever. You know, whatever. They can be a little off. They can be a little different. It doesn't matter to me. I don't want those cards anyway. I want to just pull these packs. So, but anyway. So on the deluxe, we're looking at, oh gosh, 37, 24. That's, well, let's do 37, 14. That's probably easier. So that's 51, 75. So 75% if I did my math right. And then that would mean that the ruby, amethyst, and diamond should equal 25. So that's 10, 18, 25. Yep. So 25 and 75. Eh, still, still not great odds. Um, the, 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 the odds of packs are really screwed up because of what they put the super in, in this year. Last year, you know, you had, you know, that's a pretty, 7% is pretty good for diamond. Because these are the first packs to have a diamond this year. So 7% on the diamond is pretty decent. The problem is... You have, you know, last year you just had, you know, like this pack may have rubies and sapphires, but you would, be, if you opened them, you were guaranteed a card from the pack. So that was nice. I mean, I'm sorry. The odds may have been a little screwy last year on some of the packs, but at least you got cards from the packs. But anyway, so let's look at the other 10 pack deluxe. 7, 8, 10. Is that the correct same? 7, 8, 10. Yeah, 7, 8, 10. And seven, seven, and ten. So this one actually, the twenty pack is actually one less on an amethyst. So you have one less on, you have one less percent. You have you have a little less percent. You have a little less chance of actually getting a um, iconic moments card in that pack, a little slightly. And I still think they should they should normalize those. They should be the same across the ten, twenty, and singles. They should be the same odds. I don't know why they do that. It's very weird. Um, so, let's look at, I'm not going to look at the, if you look at the packs, it's just a jambo of a mess because it's got a little superstar in it. So we're going to go to the collection to look at them. It's the easier that way. So, in the collection here, not kind of moments collection. So you got 10 cards in these packs. So, we got the Kane 08. Which is does not appear to be a persona, which is weird. I mean, yeah, that's sting like a bee, heavy-handed, merciless. So he has the Trinity. Merciless is tier two, but merciless is probably the weakest part. Of that Trinity, to be honest with you, sting like a bee is is amethyst. So that's you know. Then you have a wet blanket and rabble rouser. So this is a killer card right here, in my opinion. It's it's a really nice card. Um, Backs of resiliency. Uh, then we have a rear Ripley uh, 20. 
I'm not sure why they didn't make all these personas. There's a couple of personas in here, I think, but they didn't make them all. I'm not sure why not, since they're... I don't know. Anyway, heavy hand is like B tier 3. Um, energetic. Energetic's not bad. Merciless is better. Uh, just a Space Invader going in hot. So, yeah, pretty good card. Pretty good card. Not gonna, not gonna, wouldn't feel bad about that card at all. And we have Trick Williams with his boxing gloves on. This one is a Persona, so at least there's that. Um, then we have, so I'm assuming, the, I'm assuming the, 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 the model when you play will have the boxing gloves on. I don't know. Does it? I don't know. It's hard to say. But we have Sting Like a Bee, gold, going in hot, gold. All the answers, always see it coming. So, and Merciless. So it's missing, it's missing the, it's not quite got the Trinity, but it does have the most important part, Sting Like a Bee. And Merciless, Merciless fits in pretty good with it. Um, always see it coming. It's always a nice addition, in my opinion. Um, so, yeah, not a bad card. Not a bad card. Uh, I'm not gonna, gonna be it. And we have Ravishing Rick Rude. Um, thing that could be, I always see it coming. Again, this is a little bit, the, the badges, I just have Rebel Rouser tier 1. A little bit, a little bit low for Amethyst, in my opinion. And we have Mankind. Um, it's not a great card. <laughs> <laughs> this has thing like a bee in Space Invader, but eh, you know. And we have our John Cena 20 in um, NWO. Um, thing to be heavy handed. Eh, not, not, not the best. Kevin, Kevin Owens. There's no actual, it's not like iconic moment, but there's no actual moment. It's just Kevin Owens in general. <laughs> just, it's all iconic, I guess. <laughs> so there's Ian. <laughs> <laughs> so, Sting Like Bee going hot. It's a terrible card for. I mean, it's a terrible card for Ruby. Terrible card. It looks like it. It looks like it. It looks like it should be an emerald card, with the badges. Terrible, terrible card. Then we have Seamus, which is a Persona. Um. It does have Sting Like Bee and Heavy Handed, but again, it's a terrible card for Ruby. When when cards like the, uh, the the, the Rock ones exist in the Ruby tier. These just these just do not even hold a candle to it. Um, Diesel, who <laughs> looks very young in this picture, um, heavy-handed and Ravager again. And again, I mean, not a great card for Ruby. Unfortunate. And then we have the Lena Vega, which is a god-awful card for Ruby, <laughs> as far as badges go. Such a shame. Um, and, you know, but those are the 10 cards that you get in this pack, and then for the collection, if you manage to get the five top cards in the set, and you, you don't click the wrong button like I just did, you get this, oh wait, 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 how do I see this, there we go, okay, I always forget that, so then we have the Charlotte Flyer 17, um, Badges? I'll be honest, you know, just have Sting Like a Bee, does have Merciless, and be Tier 2, Merciless is Tier 3, all the answers, which I don't really care much for. Space Invaders, always see it coming. I mean, it, just, it has, it has like, the guts of a good card, but it's not great. Badges are a little bit underwhelming for a, a collector's, a collection card, in my opinion. Could be a little better, but, anyway. Then we also got some uh, live events coming up. Uh, they'll probably be live before this, it, when this video goes live, or after this video goes live, you know, before this video goes live. But, we did get an Encore here, which I still don't have the card for, so it doesn't really matter. Then we have Boss Battle Bow to the Queen, which leaves the Selena Vega against, I'm assuming, the Diamond Collector's Edition. Uh, for, for Bianca Belair, Bianca Belair, 17. Um... Determination is when I don't feel like I don't. Determination there is when I don't feel like I. Ha I feel like I haven't seen determination a lot on cards. If I have, I just haven't cared. <laughs> Maybe that's what it is. But it does have. It does have. You know, things like being heavy-handed in, in amethyst, so that's cool. Um, again, eh, not my favorite card. I can tell you. Uh, then we have 
the franchise in black and white, which is... Okay, this is interesting. The boss battle only has... This is interesting because the boss battle only has, like, one and done if you win it. And then, normally, the, the, the next... The next ones... The next, uh, you know, live events, usually one and done for some map P. But this one has... A Super Star Series 2 pack, 2500 FP, 25 tokens, and a ticket. They need to stop giving away tickets. I'm sorry. Tickets tickets need to go away. And then we have this one's a new one too. Um, this one's a Rhea in white. And you get a Super Star Series 2, a ticket, 50 tokens, and 3000 FP. And this one just uses a, a ruby. Any ruby, so unless it changes, that's pretty cool. And then we got that, which is a really nice reward in that one with two Super Star Series 2 packs. You have some MP, but you use a silver. 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 <sighs> but anyway, that's what we got. Um, but, you know, it, it's it's the first diamond pack, and I mean, honestly, the diamonds in it are pretty decent. Not gonna lie, the diamonds, diamonds are pretty good in that pack. Uh, the rest of the cards are, well, the rest of the cards are pretty trash for, for their tier. But the diamonds are pretty good. So, I mean, I don't know. Is it worth spending your, your hard-earned MFP on? Probably not, but anyway, that's, that's the cards. Um, but we do appreciate you joining us, and we will see you next time.